<laughs> okay, so today we're going to do equations of line. So this should be review from last year, but don't panic if you don't remember it all because I'm going to reteach it to you. So equations of lines today, we've got slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Do you guys remember that? Yes, M yeah. stands for the slope. B stands for the y-intercept. So slope is the rise over run. And B is where it crosses the y-axis. It's the y-intercept. So like if I had a point up here, so the y-intercept would be where it crosses the y-axis. Okay, so that's slope-intercept form. And then point slope form, very, very important. In fact, when you get into pre-calculus and calculus, that's the only form you will use. It's called point slope. It's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. m is the slope. x1 and y1 is the point. And that's my favorite one. <coughs> okay, so if you look at your assignment, number one, it says what is slope-intercept form? You're going to type it in, no spaces, all lowercase. So you'll type in y equals mx plus b. No spaces, all lowercase. y equals mx plus b. Okay, now let's talk about horizontal and vertical lines. First of all, do you remember the slope of a horizontal line? Uh, zero. zero. It's going to be on your test. Make sure you don't get it mixed up. What's the slope of a vertical line? Undefined. Undefined. you got to know these for the test. Don't mix those up. You don't want to miss those two problems. Plus, if you get a perfect, you get brownie. So, yeah. yeah. No way. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so a horizontal line equation, a horizontal line equation is always y equals in the number. So, like, say that crosses at 3, that equation would just be y equals 3. Okay, so horizontal line. Y, if you take a y and you turn it upside down, what letter does it resemble? H. H, horizontal. Yeah. Horizontal line, y equals. Um, a vertical line is always x equals the number. So like here, this crosses at 3, so this would be x equals 3. Um, what does number 2 say on here? Oh, match the line with the slope. What was the slope? Uh-oh, what happened? What was the slope of a horizontal line? Zero. Zero. What's the slope of a vertical line? Zero. Undefined. Don't get those mixed up. They will be on your test. So then look at number 3. What kind of line would y equals 2 be? Would it be a vertical or horizontal? Horizontal. horizontal. Remember, a y upside down looks kind of like an h, right? And then x would be vertical. I think of an x, that's a v for vertical. V for vertical. All right. Moving on. Are you guys okay so far? Y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept. Horizontal slope zero, vertical slope undefined. Okay. Write an equation in slope intercept form of a line having the given slope and y intercept. So this is number, this is number four on your assignment. Okay, number four. So we are given a slope and a y intercept and we're gonna write it in y equals mx plus b. So all you're doing is plugging in the two for m and plug it in the negative 3 for b. So you would type in your Chromebook, y equals, what do you think? 2x, 2x plus negative 3. Plus negative 3. So do you agree that a plus negative 3 is the same as minus 3? So don't put plus negative, put minus. So if that's a negative, just put a minus. So you'll type no spaces, all lowercase. No spaces, all lowercase. Okay, what about the next one? So my m is 1 fourth and my b is 5. So y equals 1 fourth x plus 5. Yeah, so if it's positive, put plus. If it's negative, put minus.
Do you know what kind of line is it if the slope is zero? Uh, it's, it's a horizontal line, and a horizontal line is just always y equals the number. But if you think about it, if I had y equals zero x minus two, isn't zero times anything nothing? So we can eliminate that and just put y equals negative two. So a horizontal line is always y equals the number anyway. Mm -hmm. It's not negative on the thing. Oh, it's not negative on the thing? I messed up. Okay, so just put y equals 2. Sorry. y equals 2. I need to fix that. So it's not negative on the... Okay, questions on just plugging it in. That's pretty easy, right? Okay, next we're going to talk about point slope. And like I said, point slope is the one that you'll actually use always whenever you get to pre-calculus and calculus. Oh. That's going to be the only one you use. So you're going to be given a slope and a point, and we have to plug into point slope. So y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So this would be my x1, y1, and then that's my m. And we just plug it in. So I would do y minus, what's y1? Three. three. y minus three, no spaces, all lowercase. Equals, what's my m? Skylar, are you guys paying attention? You need to do this. Equals, what's m? Negative three fourths. Negative three fourths. Then you're going to do left parenthesis, x. What happens when you minus a negative one? You add it. You add it. It becomes a plus one. So that's what you type in. So it's actually always going to look opposite. Do you see how this three right here is positive, but in the equation it looks negative? Mm -hmm. And here this is negative, but in the equation it looks positive. It's mm -hmm. always going to look opposite. So it'll always look opposite. You write the second number first and the first number last. It's all opposite. Okay, let's try this one. So this is my x1, y1, and that's my slope. So y, what would I write? Negative 6. I'd write minus 6. Plus 6. It would be plus 6. Plus 6. Why was it plus 6? Wait, so is that like the y minus 3 equals negative 3? Is that the answer? For that's that? your answer. Oh, yeah, okay. that is your answer. No solving. That's your answer. You're just plugging it in. So, so now let's do this one. So when we do y minus a negative 6, minus a negative makes plus positive, and then equals, slope is 4, left parenthesis, x, what happens when we minus a negative 3? Uh, add 3. Yeah. What do you have to add the parenthesis? What if what? What do you have to add the parenthesis? Um, that's just the equation. That's just okay. That's just part of it. Because if I were going to solve it, I would have to distribute it prop do distributive property and multiply it out. But we don't have to solve it. That's your answer. That's it. So are you guys doing okay typing it out? No spaces? Okay, so let's do one more. Let's do this one. X1, Y1. So you'd have Y, what? Y minus 2. Equals... Wait, where's the, oh, wait, y minus 2 equals, um, you need this, y minus 2 equals 2, two. parenthesis x minus 5. Yes, and that is the answer, and that's how you keep it. So we've done y equals mx plus b, we've done the point slope, point slope. We've done horizontal equations, vertical equations. All right, let's keep moving on. So the next one's a little bit different. I'm still going to use point slope, but the problem is I don't have a slope. So I'm going to have to find it. So remember yesterday when we learned how to find slope, what do we always subtract on the top? On slope, what do you always subtract on top? Y. Y's. Y's rhymes with rise. So to get the slope, you always subtract the Y's on top. And the x is on bottom. Y is on top, x is on bottom. And then I'm going to plug into point slope, which is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Okay? So here's my x1, y1, x2, y2. 
So what do, numbers do I subtract on top to find my slope? The y. The y, 0 and 10. And then subtract the x's on bottom, 2 minus 0. I forgot to open up my calculator app. So it's opening up over there. I'm going to pull it over. So this would be negative 10 over 2. What would my slope be? Negative 5. Yeah. I just don't have my calculator app pulled up. Are you guys okay with getting negative 5 for your slope? Okay. So now I've got my slope. Now what you're going to do is ignore that second point. Ignore it. Because I'm going to plug it into this point slope form. And do you see how it says plug in x1 and y1? Could you use either one though? You can use either one, but for the purpose of this assignment, use the first one. Okay. okay. First so one. I would do y minus y1, which is 0. Would it just stay y? Yes, I was going to say, you can do it either way. You can have y minus 0 in there. That's one of the answers. Or you could just put y equals, because isn't y minus 0 y? You can do it either way. And then my slope, what was my slope that I just found? Negative 5, and then x minus x1, which is 2. So you can have it like this, or like this. I have it either way. I'm going to go grab that calculator app. Okay, so you'll have to find the slope, then plug it in to point slope, and just use the first point for the purpose of the assignment. All right. So here's my x1, y1, x2, y2. This is the second one on your assignment, right? Mm -hmm. On that well, number. Yeah. Okay, so what do we always subtract on Wait, top? Yeah. yeah. Y. Y is on top, so negative 6 minus 9 on top. X is on bottom, negative 12 minus 8 on bottom. So negative 6 minus 9. You guys remember this from yesterday? Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. You'll have to do this on your quiz. Negative 12 minus 8, negative 12 minus 8. So that slope is 3 fourths. So I found my slope, 3 fourths. Now I ignore the second point and use the first point. So I'm going to do y. What happens when I'm minus a negative 6? You add it. Add it equals my m. m I just found is 3 fourths. And then what happens when I'm minus a negative 12? The next one, the slope is 0. OK, I'm going to show you what to do on that one. <laughs> Okay, get that typed in. Harrison, Skylar, are you guys getting these all typed in? Yeah. Okay, so you know these are the problems here. Okay, let's look at this next one. The next one's a little bit different. Okay. Notice x1, y1, x2, y2. What do you notice about the y's? They're the same. They're the same. And when the y's are the same, the slope is 0. Because if I do negative 4 minus negative 4 on top, I'm going to end up with 0. Negative 1 minus 3 on bottom. So that's going to be 0 slope. Always 0. If it's a 0 slope, what kind of line is it? Zero. Horizontal line. And a horizontal line is always just y equals and a number. Well, what are the y values on here? Negative 4. That's your answer. So if the y's are the same, you just do y equals in the number. That's the answer for the equation of the that line. That is the answer for the equation of the line. Y, so the slope is 0, y equals negative 4. But look at the next one. What's the same on the next one? The x's. And what kind of slope is it if the x's are the same? Undefined. 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 Can we just write u? Yes. Okay. You can just put a u. Yes. So what undefined is the u capitalized? 
No, it doesn't matter. You can have it lowercase or capitalized. I'm gonna, I'll double check before you guys hit submit to make sure that I have it in that way. Okay, so then the equation of the line, if it's an undefined line, that would be a vertical line. And a vertical line is always x equals in the number. So what are the x values? Two. two. So it's just x equals two. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about the next one? What's the same on the next one? The x's again. So if the x's are the same, what kind of slope is it? Uh, vertical. Vertical, undefined. So the equation would be? X equals negative three. Yes. And then what's the same on the next one? Um, the y's, yep, so slope is zero. So y equals five. Y equals five, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I have like scrolled down to the, all the other questions. They just look very hard. The thing, the, I kind of made it the same, so like, like number four is the same as, after I finish these, as the same as number nine. Okay. And the number five will be the same as number 10. And the number six will be the same as number 11. So like we're gonna work the first half together and then you're gonna go back and finish. So I tried to make it to where it's the same. Okay, so reminder from yesterday, slopes of parallel lines Slopes of parallel lines are the same. Oh, we did all these. Oh, I was going to do a couple of these. Do you guys remember how to write the equation of the line if it's a horizontal line? Um, it's on a graph. Y equals, three. y equals, yep, one, two, three. How would I write this? Two, three, two, three, two. Okay, good. I just want to make sure you can do that. All right. Okay, slips so of parallel lines are the same. So in that first blank, put same. And then slopes of perpendicular lines are the negative reciprocal. R-E-C, spell it right. I-P-R-O-C-A-L. Reciprocal. Don't spell it wrong, it'll count it wrong. You guys got it? Reciprocal, don't, yeah, negative reciprocal, or their product is negative one. Okay, so let's move on to the last few types of problems. So I want to write an equation of a line that's perpendicular to this line and goes through that point. So let's just look at it on your assignment. Perpendicular <coughs> to this line but goes through that point. So we're going to use point slope every time. So point slope is y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So first of all, if I look at this, the slope is that number next to the x. So this slope would be negative 3. So if I know my slope is negative 3, what would the perpendicular slope be? Three. If, three. Not positive three, be careful, one really three. close. Uh, you gotta do the reciprocal, one yes, one over three. So my perpendicular slope would be one slash three, so put that in first. So that, that would be like the M? That would be my M, yes, good. So that's your M, and then this is the point that we're gonna use. This will be our X1, Y1. So now we just plug it in. So I would have Y minus zero, or could I just leave it as Y? Y. y equals, or you can put y minus zero, that's fine, either way, equals my new slope, one third, and then x minus, what's x one? Four. Four. And that's your answer. Okay. So if it's a perpendicular slope, you have to flip it upside down and change the sign. But if it's a parallel slope, what do we know about parallel slopes? The same. So do you guys see that this slope is that number right next to the x? Mm -hmm. So I want the same slope, negative 3 fourths, same slope. And then the equation of the line, here's my x1, y1, plug it into point slope. So I would do y minus, what's y1? Um, Negative 3, so no, oh, it's 
equals m, which is negative 3 fourths, left parenthesis, x plus 3. Plus three. Does everybody know why it's plus 3? Because it's minus negative, yeah, so it makes it plus. Plus, minus a negative makes plus. Is the next one zero? Yeah, so the next one, yeah, if you just have y equals 6, can I erase this? Did you guys get it? Yeah. I feel like I'm going to forget this on Thursday. Well, that's why we'll review tomorrow, and you can use notes. If I see the, Take a bunch of notes. If I see, like, the... the um, Y minus Y1. Yeah, if I see that, the formula, then I can sort of understand yeah, the formula. Yeah, I'll the end of formula. You um, will have the formula. Formula just makes it so easy if you know yes. how to plug into it. You will have the formula. <laughs> there's no way I'm going to remember these. Yeah, like yeah no, bags. you will have it. It'll be okay. You'll have it, and you can use notes. So tomorrow when we review, take a bunch of notes, and you can use those. Okay, so this one says parallel to Y equals 6. Well, if it's just Y equals a number, that's a horizontal line, right? So what's the slope of a horizontal line? Zero. Zero. So parallel slope would be the same. Parallel slope the same. I want an equation though that goes through one comma five. So this is my x comma y. If it's a horizontal line, it has to be another y equals. What's the y value of that point? Five. Five. So for example. Like this line right here would be at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It would be right here. If I want a line parallel to that, I have to have another y equals, and I want it to go through this point, 1, 5, so it would have to be y equals 5. Does that make sense? Because I want it parallel. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now I want perpendicular. So if I know I've got this line at y equals 1, but I want perpendicular, what kind of line would that be? It would be a vertical line. It would be a vertical line. What's the slope of a vertical line? X equals. Undefined, and it's x equals. Yep, x equals. What's the x value over here? Negative 4. Negative 4, yeah. This is kind of a lot to remember, I know. It's only moderately confusing. Yeah, I know. It's it's just a lot to remember. Yeah. Like if we did one of these and then we did a test on it, like I think could do it, but if we're all doing it together. I know, I know. with slope and distance oh, a bit more. Did, did oh, he yeah. get it? Great. He forgot his lines again. He's just ahead. Okay. Um so number nine is going to be just like just like number four. So you're just going to plug in to y equals mx plus b. Just plug the m in, plug the b in. So like on this one, I would do y equals, what's my m? Negative 5. 5x. And then do I put plus or minus 2? Plus. Minus, minus, minus two, yeah, because it's a negative. Because it's a negative, yeah. So you're just plugging those in. Go down to to the last two. Do you see the how it doesn't have b equals? It has a point. Yeah. Well, that point is what b is because three would be where it crosses the y-axis. So that three is really your b. And that negative 1 is really your B. So like I would do Y equals 3 fourths X plus 3 because your B is really 3. What does B stand for again? Say that again. What does B stand for again? B is where it crosses the Y axis. It's the Y intercept. And then starting with number 10... You're plugging into point slope. So that's the one where it's y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So you're plugging it into point slope. Remember, don't use any spaces. If you minus a negative, it makes plus positive. Okay. Let me see 
if there's anything else weird. Um, number 11, y'all find the slope. I need to write the slope formula on the board. I will do that. <laughs> This is so much slope. I think this is like more slope than we did in this is, um, for the whole year. Yeah. Oh, number 14. Scroll to 14 really quick. It says determine whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. You're just going to look at the slopes. Look at the slopes. It's the numbers right next to the x. So like on the first one, do you see that this number next to the x is a 2? Mm -hmm. And then this other number next to the x is a 2? Yeah. What kind of line is it if the slopes are the same? Parallel. So you'll say parallel. <laughs> but what about the next one? Do you see this this three next to the x, right? Perpendicular. Yeah, and then negative one third, right? That would be perpendicular. So you'll perpendicular. Yeah. And the last one would be negative. Correct, okay. yes, the last one would be. And the one between that would be perpendicular. perpendicular. Yes, because you have negative one half and positive two. Yeah. I honestly just take a guess, and I need you to correct me if I get it wrong. So yes. Y would be 